Hi, this is David from Mash IT. Today we'll be performing graphic benchmarks within Catalina on our 2020 iMac with 5700 AMD Radeon graphics. We're performing these tests to try and match some of Max Tech's tests with his 5700 XT so that we can see the performance difference and also compare it to last year's 580X to see how much better it is year on year. In the OpenGL graphics test as part of R15's uh, benchmark suite, we scored 152.5 frames per second with the 5700 card. Last year's 580X scored 134 frames per second, so it doesn't seem like a massive difference, but I think this is purely down to the fact that OpenGL hasn't really been updated or optimised. Next we ran Geekbench 5 Metal Graphics Test. R5700 scored 49,439 points. In comparison to Maxtech's 5700 XT and his scored 57,898 points. This means that the 5700 is approximately 15% slower than the 5700 XT. This test is the Heaven Graphics Benchmark. We'll be running this at the Extreme Preset. R5700 scores 87.6 frames per second. This is 8% slower than Maxtech's 5700 XT, who scores 96.2 in the same test. And also to put this into context, last year's 580X top-end base model scored 45.6 frames per second. So this is quite a big improvement over last year. Ok, now on to some gaming benchmarks. First we're running Total War Warhammer. The first test, the first benchmark we'll be running is running at 1440p high settings. This scores 87.5 frames per second which is very playable. So we're now lowering the resolution down to 1080p and running the same test again. So this is 1080p high settings. This scores 116 frames per second. So this is very good, this is much better than last year's Mac. So now onto Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We're first running this at 1440p high settings. Uh, this is the benchmark. This scores 56 frames per second at this 1440p setting. Now lowering it to 1080p high settings, we get 81 frames per second, which is much more playable than it was at 1440p. Even at 1080p, the game still looks great on this panel. Right, so enough for the benchmarks, let's actually play some games. The first game we're going to be looking at is Fortnite. And we're running this at 1080p and epic graphics settings. Now unfortunately, frames per second were about 75 and fluctuating all over the place. And there was a lot of sort of jerking and shuddering around. Definitely wasn't comfortable to play on a first person shooter. Um, managed to get a few kills, which is quite surprising because I don't really play this game. Uh, but I definitely wouldn't want to play this for fun at these settings.
Right, so now I'm gonna be switching it down to 1080p high settings. Um, this is much more manageable on the 5700, um, well over 100 frames per second, mostly around the 144 frames per second mark, which is much more comfortable for a, a fast paced shooter. Definitely more enjoyable. And the last game we played is Dota 2. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of gameplay footage on the uh, Mac side of things because I don't have a great deal of Mac games in my library. Now, this is run at 1440p Mac settings, um, completely comfortable to play throughout the entire match. Uh, put a few highlights in, um, but definitely could enjoy this at, at these frames per second. This is a massive difference over last year's 580x. So I just couldn't get that comfortably playing at 1440p at all. I had to resort to 1080p sort of medium settings to enjoy it. Well, that about wraps this video up. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you liked this video and you want to see more about this iMac, we will be looking at uh, Final Cut Pro performance and Logic Pro performance next. And we'll also be doing a video uh, furthering our boot camp experience uh, with some modified drivers and tweaking the system to get some more performance out of this machine. So if you'd like to see that, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified when the next videos are posted.